Yes, new series, let's go. Once everything's loaded in anyway. <laughs> okay, looks like we're in a forest. Oh, getting a little leg. It's modded, things need to load in initially. Chunks generating and all that. It's okay, I'll give it a moment. This looks like a nice seed though, look at this. We've got this nice little pond, we've got trees. We've got doggo friends. Let's punch a tree. So hello and welcome to a playthrough of the Ice and Fire mod for 1.16.4. Um, this mod updated for 1.16 relatively recently. It's pretty buggy, so I've, I've made the mod pack in general pretty light because I, I, I'm probably going to have to be updating the mod and it gets complicated the more mods you have. And I really just wanted to experiment and play with Ice and Fire, so that's what we're going to do because dragons, people. Dragons. So for anyone who's unfamiliar with the Ice and Fire mod, it adds a bunch of like mythological monsters and creatures and animals to Minecraft. That's primarily what it is. And then it adds a bunch of new armor and items and stuff that kind of go along with it. But the, the animals and beasts and monsters are kind of like the main focus of the pack, I guess you could say. And originally it was designed around dragons, but since there have been a lot of other monsters added as well, most of them are very strong and quite dangerous. So it's gonna take us a while to gear up to the point where we can take them on, especially like the dragons. Those guys are really tough. You need pretty good armor before you can take on a dragon, but I'm excited to do it. And I'm excited to have you all along on the adventure. So sit back and relax. And uh, I hope you enjoy this new series with me. Say, have you seen, hey, hey, over here. Have you seen a wolf named Bosco? He's, he's about your size, black and white. No? Okay then. Okay, goal one, uh, sheep, I suppose, now that we have wood. I do not see any sheep. I do not see any sheep. The forest looks lighter this way. That could just be because my birch trees, I have a texture pack on that makes my birch trees look well, golden, and I really like that. Normally, I, oh, oh, I guess that's what happened to the sheep. <laughs> uh, okay, well, there's wool, so I guess there's that. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, I have a texture pack on that makes the leaves for birch trees golden. It's not actually a mod. It's just a texture pack because normally birch trees, like the birch forest, is not my favorite. And I kind of had to live in a birch forest at the start of my last game. So I said to myself, you know what, Rin? Why don't you just make the birch trees a different color so that you actually like the biome, huh? And I do. I mean, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? That makes the birch forest look much better. Okay, we need one more white wool. What's this? Okay. Hmm. Looks like there's lava or something down there lighting it up. Oh, looks like we got dark oak forest over there. I don't have any biome mods in this one. I have used biomes aplenty in my single player games in the past, but again, since Ice and Fire is already kind of like mm, buggy and under development and not well optimized, I didn't want to slow my game down by having the a big intensive bio mod on top of it. I do have a couple other little mods though that do a couple things. One of them you might have already seen, it adds some extra trees just to the regular biome, so I figured that would add some, you know, visual interest. Ooh, there's iron down here. I mean, I know we want a sheep, but I kind of want iron as well and coal. Yeah, all right. Okay, crafting table. You guys all know the score. You know how the beginning of Minecraft works, I imagine. Boom, boom. Make some sticks. Do a little of this action. Boop, pickaxe. Can you actually dig up iron with a wooden pickaxe? No, I don't think you can. <laughs> all right, we'll get some cobble first. Stone Age, there we go. I suppose another reason I decided on no biome mod is because since it's also not well optimized yet, like trying to get the various creatures and mobs to spawn in the modded biomes, people were like reporting some difficulties with it. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just stick with the vanilla biomes. It'll be fine. We've got cork to make everything greener and prettier. We've got a couple other mods that add a couple extra trees. We've got like a little farming mod in here. A couple other odds and ends. Getting an upgrade. Here we go. Iron right away. Doesn't I feel like that doesn't happen to me very often to get iron on a surface cave this early in the game. And there's also some coal here. I'm watching the mouth of that cave carefully. If I hear any mob sounds, I am out. 11 iron and 17 coal. That's not bad. 
It is getting to be nighttime though. It is getting to be nighttime and I do not yet have one more. I think I need one. Yeah, one more wool to make a bed. All right, let's see if we can find one more sheep quick. Whoa. Hello, Ravine. You're pretty, but you're not what we're looking for right now. If you're hearing those ambient noises, that's one of the other mods I have in this pack. Just makes the world feel more alive. I really enjoy it. Fairytopia had that mod in it. I am not seeing any sheep around. Ooh, this looks like a flower forest over here. I love flower forest biomes. They're so pretty. All right, I'm kind of getting nervous. I am going to do something. <laughs> what are you doing, Rin? Okay, I'm gonna make a furnace. We have 17 coal. I'm gonna smelt up our iron. Spending night one in the middle of the lake. I mean, it feels a little safer than some things. In order for a mob to come get me, it's gonna have to swim through the water, right? <laughs> Here we go, shield. Gonna cook up our mutton too, as long as we're at it. Since nothing has come after us yet. Let's go check out this flower forest, huh? Maybe there'll be some sheep there. So while I'm worried about regular mobs on night one, I'm not too worried about the various ice and fire mobs yet. Uh, for most of the dangerous mobs in this pack, there's kind of a, a spawn protection. There's like a radius wherein the most dangerous things cannot spawn. So we should be safe from like dragons and sea serpents and things like that, hopefully. Ooh, look at this. This is part of the, one of those other mods I was talking about. This is simple farming. It gives berry bushes and a couple of fruit trees as well as a bunch of different seeds you can break from the grass. I am definitely... Woo! Hi! Hi! I'm not on my weapon. There we go. Don't you dare kill that cow, you meanie! Don't you kill the cow! Ugh! Have at you! I missed. Have at you! Have at you! There we go. Monster hunter. <laughs> I'm not done picking these berries yet. Oh my gosh, I hear another one. What are you... You guys traveling in packs now? Is that what's happening here? Die. Die. I'm like decimating these trees. There's so How many are you? Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead now. <laughs> oh, rip. Oh, I'm such a noob. Okay, here we are. Back at spawn. It's nighttime now. Great. Note to self, next time, less blueberry picking and witty banter. More paying attention to the skeletons. Check. Why is there a freaking spider jockey on night one? Isn't that kind of ridiculous? I still haven't found our stuff. It might be gone. Oh no, here it is. Well, that was good timing. Hello stuff, okay. All is not lost and blueberries. <laughs> now that all the mobs are dead, great. Well, we died on night one and that's pretty sad, but you know, it's the start of a brand new day and there's a reason why I don't play hardcore, so. Let's br bring it. Um, is this what I think this is? This looks like a graveyard. Yes, I think this is a graveyard. This is definitely an ice and fire thing. There's a big lava pool near it. So this structure introduced ghosts to ice and fire. And I think the ghosts can spawn. This is like grave soil here. And the mobs can spawn out of this stuff at night. So these are definitely not a cool thing to build a base near early on in the game like I am, I probably should not build in this area, right? Yeah, graveyard soil, so ghosts can spawn out of this at night. And if I remember right, there's, yeah, there's like a little mausoleum here. And inside the mausoleum is a chest, but if you try to loot the chest, a ghost spawns. So I guess now the question becomes, does breaking the chest also make the ghost spawn, or is that a way to avoid it? I don't know, let's find out. I'm probably about to have my second death of the series. <laughs> no ghost? Ooh. No ghost. <laughs> I guess that was the way to do it. Yay! First ice and fire structure conquered! I am so good! No, I'm not. I'm just lucky. <laughs> Ooh, I think that's a wither rose over there, too. Hello? And string? Can always use string. I don't have a... I don't have a, what is this? Copper sword. I'm breaking three sweeping edge two. Yeah, that's gonna be better than my ax. Can I use this to break the cobweb? Ooh. Yes, string. This is good, we're off to a good start. So here's a question. If the mobs spawn out of the graveyard soil and I pick up all the graveyard soil, does that make this spawn proof? Does that make this then like a little structure that I can claim as my own? Hmm. I feel like we should test this for science. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up all of this graveyard soil, which takes forever to dig up. All right, have I gotten it all? i got to, like, clear some of these trees out, I think, so I can see what's going on. Well, night has fallen on day two, and it looks like picking up the graveyard soil worked. No ghosts are spawning, no other mobs are spawning, and I have now a gate to keep me separate from the hostiles of the night, which is pretty good. And we even have this kind of slightly creepy looking starter house, which isn't much, but it's home. The dawn of day three, and I found an apple tree. I think I'm going to cut this. Ah! <sighs> Creeper? Why? <laughs> Where was I? I'm going to chop down this apple tree, I think, so that we can grow these because these trees are cool and it's a ready supply of food. I think I'll get the simple farming achievement. Now, are these both? Yeah, these are all regular seeds. With the simple farming mod, what it is is there are a bunch of new crops and they all come from breaking seeds, which is a bit unrealistic. So, like, I can get melon seeds and you know papaya seeds well i mean i don't know exactly those ones but you can get a lot of seeds from breaking just regular wheat not super realistic but it's not as fancy as pam's harvest craft and as i said at the beginning of the series i kind of wanted to keep all the non-ice and fire stuff relatively simple in this pack so i can focus on ice and fire oh we got pumpkins up there and sheep i'm sorry sheep actually do i have my iron i don't have my iron I'm sorry. Close your eyes. There. You can live. I only needed one more wool. <laughs> Ooh, and it looks like we have a desert over there. So this is plains, mountains up that way. This is our flower forest. Our house is just right over there. So I wonder if I... I can... I can just pick up these bushes. Do we want blueberry bushes at our house? Why not? I would love to go do some exploring and look at that desert and the mountains and what's all over there and pick some pumpkins. But I feel like before we do that, I should probably take a trip underground and get some more iron to make a full iron set because there are dangerous mobs around. And I've already died once like a noob. And I feel like once is enough, you know? One creepy death is enough for today. <laughs> okay, three wool. Go ahead and make a bed. Boom. Gonna lay that here. There. I, it's it's an official house now. I have a chest and a crafting area and a bed. That makes it official. <laughs> I also picked up a grape seed and a squash seed from the creeper explosion I discovered. So maybe we will get into some simple farming stuff later. But I do believe that getting more iron should be priority number one. I have cleared away just a little bit of dirt from this wall. Because this looks like a cool place to start a mine, doesn't it? Just put a door right here and it's like right next to our little starter house, I suppose. So... Let's get going. I will bring you guys back if I find anything cool. Whoa, we've broken into a cave. Let's see if we can get down there safely. A cave could be good. It could give us a lot of good resources to start out with, but it can also be dangerous since I don't have armor really yet. Oh, please don't tell me it's a crevice. <laughs> People who watch my Nomadic Life series will understand why I don't like crevices. It's a special cave generation feature that you see with Quark. It's like a ravine, but a sideways ravine. Mob central. Very dangerous. Ooh, it's a crevice. Oh, it's a crevice. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Ha, 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 ha. I've escaped. So big brain Rin came out and collected some sand from outside. So I was able to drop sand down the crevice and kind of step my way down and then build the cobblestone walls around it so that I stayed safe and had like a safe tunnel through the crevice. And these torches, this is, this is the level that the crevice is on. So if I ever want to get outside, I can kind of, I can put like a door or something here. And at some point when we have better gear, we can come access this and clear it up. But for the meantime, I just want iron and I did finally find some way the heck down here at level 19. So we're almost at diamond level. Ooh, cave at diamond level. Yes, cave at diamond level. Do we dare? It's going to be safer than the crevice. It's a smaller area. Less mobs should be spawning. I think I can maybe make this work. Hopefully our sword is all right. Let's get some light down in here. Look at all this iron, though. This is great. When I'm clearing caves, I like to light them up first to keep mobs from popping in on me and then going back and collecting all the resources. What about this way? <sighs> Gosh, it keeps going. This is a big cave. Big cave, but look at all the resources here. This is great. Go ahead and get all this stuff. In fact, I think you don't even need iron to get lapis, do you? There we go. First four lapis of the series. 
no diamonds that I found, but that's okay. I'm going to start taking out all this iron, and this should definitely be enough to get us a full set of armor. And then maybe we can go down, or rather up into that crevice and see what that's about. Found a connecting cave and another one of these, fools. Dude, stay still. It's over. Yes, another enderpearl. Oh, look what we found. <laughs> Isn't this sweet? But I haven't smelted up my iron yet to make a bucket, so I think I'm going to take my spoils. This is what we've collected up to the surface, smelt it. We've got almost a stack of iron. That's great. Come back down with a bucket, and we can clear all of this out, including that little bit over there, which I think might be silver from the Ice and Fire mod. I'm looking forward to seeing what that does, but let's get back up to the surface with our spoils. Okay, slight issue. I started dismantling the gravestones to make our area prettier, and a bunch of silverfish came out, so isn't that something? Die, you little dude, die. These things are annoying to hit. Well, it's a good thing I created a gate, but I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the gate would be used to keep things out. Oh, man. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Ruin my house. Wonder if any of these are infested. Oh my goodness. Oh, the whole cross was infested. <laughs> That's all right. We'll fix it up. We'll make it different and better and cooler. -er. So while the iron was smelting, I went ahead and worked on our little graveyard starter base, question mark. And it is looking a lot better if I do say so myself. First of all, I have taken up some of the coarse dirt from there, created a path that went all the way out to our mine, and I took some blocks and I kind of decorated the mine here. These are vertical half slabs. Vanilla, why don't these exist yet, hmm? But I'm liking the way that looks. It's pretty simple. And I went ahead and put some doors on here. I've got a little farming area started here with the seeds we got from the creeper blast. I think this is our squash and these are our seeds. And this is the grape? I'm not quite sure what's up with the grapes. Um, That looks kind of weird, but I don't know. We'll see if it produces grapes, I guess. Over here, I've created a little seeding area slash memorial. The bushes have been pushed up against the house. So the strawberry bushes are on one side. The blueberry ones are on the other side. I went ahead and changed this a little, but the, the floor plan on the inside is still exactly the same. I just moved the crafting table down there and I put a glass block in so we have a lovely view out the window into our lava pit backyard. It's very cozy in here. We're going to need more storage soon because we're already picking up so many blocks. But for now, that'll work. Our apple tree's all grown up and producing apples. And I've gone ahead and just put the flowers and ferns and everything that was already here into other places. And that is the little starter base complete. And I think we're going to call the episode here. Oh, wait. Iron, 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 iron. It's not done yet because we still need to make ourselves a full set of iron armor. Exciting. Where are my pants? Where are my pants? Uh, bam. Woo. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, we're going to be in a good spot for going adventuring next episode. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you all so very much for watching this first episode of Ice and Fire. I am so very excited to get going on taming dragons and fighting monsters and all of that awesome stuff. And I hope you all are too. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave give it a like rating down below and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you soon for the next one. Bye for now.